Hi everyone, welcome to Cairo's house. Today we've got a little review of how I've got on with these Bont Riot Road Plus shoes. Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I've had a look on Strava and I've actually ridden these shoes for 4,478.2 kilometers. So that is a pretty exact number. So let's uh, get straight into them and see how they've fared. Well, as you can see, uh, they have faded a little bit because that's the inside color and you can see the outside color is a little bit duller. First thing, a really good shoe. A little bit of damage here and there where I've managed to scuff them. Oops, went off the camera and managed to scuff them up. But overall, um, as you can see, that's the original heel pad. Okay. Uh, and these are the original cleats that I had on them. So that one's probably needs replacing soon. Uh, but the toes are looking pretty good. Um, also, these covers are great. If you can get some of these, let's have a look at the code. Shimano SMS H45 Malaysia. These cleat covers are brilliant. I highly recommend them. They're fantastic. Um, the shoe itself. Uh, Overall, I'm going to give it eight and a half out of ten. Um, still, sometimes I feel it's a little narrow. Now, I'm not sure if that's because uh, the side, as you can see, uh, it's kind of like you're tubbed in, see? So the sides raise up quite a lot, whereas a normal shoe, you just have leather there. Um, so sometimes it because your feet can't escape from within their bath of carbon, um, they can push against the sides a little bit. But um, I may have to just heat mold them a little bit more and push push out there. But overall, uh, lots of toe room. Um, just on the side, sometimes it feels like it's a bit narrow. Good height on the toes, I have to say. Um, really stiff really good um you'll probably remember those are the observant ones amongst you that these are not the original insoles that i had when i molded them i actually had red <coughs> these were from my uh, retool fit or retool fit i actually um went up to green from red so um inside the shoe yeah still stitched really well um Nothing's come loose, nothing's um, fallen off of them. The, the uh, bower dial still works. It's not frayed. Yeah, that still works a treat. It just pulls up to release. The Velcro is still um, holding. I haven't actually, um, I've probably tightened it up once in all that time and just left it there. The stitching is still intact, still holding together. I mean, they've been through rain, they've been through phew, being sat on a radiator, drying. They've been pretty uh, pretty hacked, to be honest. And let's just check the other one. So we'll, bring, we'll put that one on the ground. We'll bring the other one in. This is the left shoe now. Um, stitching still intact. Um, the original video I posted on these was... April 2018, maybe a little bit of a fray there, but it's probably just the end coming out. It's now, I'm filming this, if it's not released on the date or the week I'm filming it, it is the 15th of July 2020 when I'm recording this. I mean, the stitching's still perfect, look, there's no damage to it at all. The only damage is, is um, where I've slipped down stairs or something. Or, uh, let's just remove that. This is the original cleat. Yeah, I didn't tend to walk on my cleats a long way. I mean, obviously when you put your foot down at traffic lights or if I've got to walk a short way, 
Uh, that's still stuck down, that's perfect. Yeah, nothing, I can't actually fault these shoes though. I mean, they don't, they're not coming on stock. He says, he says, having found something that's coming on stock. Here, they've been through everything, these shoes. Um, I can't fault them. I cannot fault them. Apart from just that little bit of, you know, just you feel like you're rubbing on the, on the side of the carbon bit. But not very often, a minor, minor thing. But yeah, really, really good shoe. Still going strong. A little bit of scuffing there where I've hit something. I'll be getting another pair of these, definitely, when these break. Unless they come out with a new version. By far the best shoe I've ever had. I'll just show you the Beridar so you know I'm not lying. That one still there uh, tightens up. It's beautiful. Yeah, all the way. Works a treat. Pull it out. It comes all the way out. There's no fraying on the Boa strap at all. Really well made shoe and highly recommend those. So let's just pick the other one back up. April 2018 shoes. 4,478 4 kilometers. So get them. I recommend them. Anyone who's got them will probably recommend them. They come in all fa fancy colours. Thanks for watching Kyra's House. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye now.